We're live. Chica, Hi. man. You hear us? Yeah, now. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Cool. All right. We're live. We're, we're live. We're live across the world. All right. All right. Tell us, where, where are you right now? So I am... I am right on the where the team areas are. I'll try to show. I, I don't. I don't know if I can flip my camera. Yeah, see if you can flip yeah. it. I don't think I can flip the camera. It's either like on or off. Let me see. Here. Okay. Hold what on. about turn it sideways? Uh, back camera. There we go. Oh, okay. Boom. Yeah, nice. see it? it is beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there you go. All right. So Here's you're the team in areas right here. Okay. This is the Brazilian air Russians. Like where's all, where's all the Russians? Hungary, Chinese over there. Okay. U.S. is right back in the year. Nice. Very nice. The U.S. can see Keenan's hanging out over there. Keenan's there? Okay. Yeah. Some people around there. Ron Aiken's hmm. right there. So. And then Ron I don't Aiken. think I can go in. Yeah. I don't think hmm. I can go in through that way, which the pool from there. I think I go all the way around to go in the warm-up area right here. So I'll walk behind here and stop me if you need for if things are looking messy so no it's good uh, man it's high diving they, they've been warming up here mm. people doing some stretch here too because i did this this i think was the first short course world that they made kind of like a festival right so they have uh they have high diving and then open water happened too and i don't know if synchro happened or something but like it was short course then that was it so here's wow. where everybody comes out from after the race, oh, uh, right. mix zone, mix zone. Yes, there's some there's some people inside the pool too. Hold the camera up a little higher. There you yeah. go. There you yeah, go. perfect. There you go. Sorry. So, all the lines coming in, call room, the pool, and I'm gonna walk all the way back here to the warm up pool area. Oh, here we go. Look what we got here. Who's that? It's Nick Fink right here. Say hey, hi, Nick. You're live with Brett and everybody. Oh, Good hi. luck, Nick. <laughs> Let's go, boy. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, America. There you go. <laughs> yeah, hold the camera up just slightly more. There we go. There you go. Cool. Chica, this place so looks nice. ridiculous. It is cool, man. Yeah. But I'll, 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 I'll make a live critique here. They didn't put enough lane lines for, lanes for everybody. So there, we have the, like the, the competition pool uh -huh. and the warm-up pool. There's only eight lanes there. So in short course meters. So mm. there's 900 athletes on the, on the meet. Mm -hmm. So it gets a little bit crowded after the, the meet starts. Right. So I think that they could have done a little bit better there, but other than that, like, it looks pretty good. So here's all the way in the back and going up where the warm up pool is. And there's a little kind of like light issue, I would say, that, back there because two of the lanes are very dark. Oh. So really, they look, oh. we were just talking about how they look so yeah. good on the television. No, but th this is on the main pool. On the yeah. back pool here, it's a little bit different. Oh, okay, I got you. So, right, uh, right. You got Fiener in the Fiener in the front, ISL in the back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Okay, I see what's here going on. Mm. Yeah. That type Salo? Yep. Hold on. All right. They 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 looking up for the really. So oh, you, yeah. you 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 ask Coach Steph. This is Brett Hawk over there. Brett, Brett's Brett? live right now. Hi, yeah, What's everybody's saying, I don't know if they can hear because my mic is Ozzy, Blair right here. Hi, Blair. Hey, hey. All right. So, yeah, like if you see on this side here, it's a little bit darker on the lights there. Oh, uh, yeah. Than, than the rest of the pool. But here's very bright on this side over here. So, so here's the warm-up pool area. Uh-huh. All the, where they get out, like all the, the, the boxes, the lane line boxes and everything. The meet's starting right now. I think the, the ladies... 200 medley really so yeah we are women's four by 50 medley relay okay yeah. chico on, this has been outstanding yes. thank you man I love You're the little welcome, preview a little behind yeah. the scenes let me see if there's something more they have going on around here uh they have all over like the the tv with, with the results live and then i think majority of the people are watching the meet from here wow and then people Drying out the deck 24 7. And yeah, that's basically it. If you go that way, goes back to the pool, but we can all go through there right now. Okay. And that's the backstage. 
Pretty much Beautiful. What it is. All I just, right. I just yeah. heard the whistle. Show us your pretty yeah. face again. Show us your face. Hold on. Let's flip this thing. Yeah, flip it. What's happening? What's happening? Hold on. Let's get you back. There you go. Go on camera. Oh, there you Bye. are. All right, man. I love it. Thank you. Good. Good to see you, Chico. Anytime. Thank you. Bye, Good luck. Fun. See you guys later. Today. Bye. Ciao. All right, here we go. Chico yeah. Rigo, Georgia Tech, fun. associate head coach. Stop cool. in. Give us a little preview. What's going on back there? <sighs> Swedish one team walking out here. Women's four by 50 medley relay. Uh, the Americans cleaned up this morning. They looked wonderful. Catherine Burke off the 25-8, leading things off. They stuck uh, Emily Escobedo on the breaststroke leg. I don't know if Lydia is going to swim swim in this or not. I actually didn't realize they had a full by 50 relay. This is cool for, for Walt. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Claire Curzon split 24-8, 50 fly. I think Lydia, Lydia Jacoby's just walked out. Yeah, so she's on this one. She's taller than I thought she was. She's, oh, yeah. she's, pretty, she's pretty tall. Yeah. She she uh looks like the tallest one there. Yeah. Definitely. Abby's pretty tall too. Yeah. All right. We got ourselves a race. It sounded like they're about two minutes ahead of us. The the sound like the starters gun went off earlier. Yeah, you're about fifteen seconds ahead of me. You wanna okay. give it give me a can you can you pause your TV? Nah, man, no. You can't pause it? I don't think so. Let me let me try. Hang on. Um, no, I mean not this one. Some the one upstairs. I can. I don't know why. You I don't have a DVR on the on on this one down here. I don't think so. No. All right. Is that Ryan White swimming for no? Yeah, yeah. That's her. Yeah, we got Ryan White. Burkoff with a 20, 25 8 this morning. That was the fastest in the field. I don't know if anyone's going to beat that. Kara Toussaint swimming for the Netherlands at the top of your screen, lane one. Oh, so they did a full replacement of the morning? It, 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 it That's what it looks like. I'm not 100% sure, but I didn't see all the names. Well, uh, yeah, seems that way. Oh, Ryan White's getting waxed right now, too. She had a horrible start. She did. Last one to um to actually get up. Oh, she's in about sixth place right now. This is not good. Oh, what did she go this morning? Twenty five. What? No, Catherine Burkoff. Yeah, yeah. This morning. Yeah, what she get? Eight. Oh yeah, she would have won that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that she was really won. fast. Twenty five eight is fast. She would have twenty five nine yeah. from Sweden. That's um one of the Hansons, I would assume. How do you take off a 25-8? Man, that's a big call. That one's going to get scrutinized right there. Yep. Well, here's Lydia Jacoby in the water. Oh, Sweden is on fire right now, and I think Sostrom just dove in the water. Yeah. It's, Here we uh, go. They have two Hansons, a Sarah Soistrom, and a Michelle Coleman. Oh, yeah. We're not even going to get – we're not even going to get a medal. Oh, this was a this We're was a whacked. tragic this was America's a tragic waxed. tragic mistake. This is uh this is a um coaching call right here. Who's oh, swimming man. this fifty fly? Oh, I don't Tori know. Husk, maybe? But the poor Claire girl that, in. The poor girl that just swam freestyle had to dive in to waves and as she took her first stroke, I saw she her hand hit the wave and just went nowhere. So the US Actually, that's the U.S. there. Okay. No, the U.S. The U.S. got yeah. second. Yeah, you're talking about the team that's underneath. Yeah, who was uh, in three? Yeah. I just watched Oh, the it. Italians. I was watching the Italians. That's what happens when you turn right, the nice sound Nice fly off. like from America, getting them second place. Sweden first. Is that a, was that a world record? That's a world record. We're starting the day off with a world record. Congratulations, Sweden. <gasps> the two Hansons. Uh, Michelle Coleman and Sarah Soistrom, I think. Yeah, Michelle Coleman just got out of the water, so she's just swimming freestyle on that leg. That's amazing. Yeah, and the, the, they told us she couldn't get out that way, so she dove back in. So hopefully they don't disqualify them for that. But yeah, they it's equaled not, the world record. Oh, they tied it. Yeah, they my, tied uh, it. 
My best friend uh, from Sweden that I swam with, who's still a swim coach, the Swedish swim nerd, it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Christian. Christian. He sets you up with a world record on your birthday. That's pretty good. Let's pull up these splits here. Christian. The Italians in lane three got absolutely destroyed. Yeah, I saw that. I thought that was the Americans, but no. They end up getting second. Yeah, that that final swimmer did smash the wave. All right, here we go. Ryan White, twenty six three. That is um, that's a half a second right there. Lydia Jacoby with a twenty nine six, much faster than um, uh, uh. Can you pull it up? Uh oh, I thought it was. Sorry. There we go. That's better. Claire Curzan, what a swim right there. Twenty four five six. That's great. I mean, it's decent. Was, look at Sostrom. Went this morning. Look at Sostrom, 23.9. Yeah, she's the world record holder. She's the fastest human ever in that event. Dang. But yeah. Bit. Okay. That world record um, ties the American world record from Han Zhou, uh, the short course world championships, uh, last time around in 2018. What about that, that split right there? That's where... Uh, 22.8 for a female. That's Good. moving. What up, Coach Andre? Follow Swimcast. He called it at the beginning, too. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Good call, Andre. Good swimming there. Wow. All right. We got the... I like how they started off with a relay. That's, that's cool. Yeah, and they end it with a relay, too. And now we got the men's 100 back final. This is a legit, pretty decent final. I mean, you don't have a couple of top guns in there, but in terms of just the uh, the the field, I mean, we're going to have a first-time world champion here, aren't we? I would think. Uh, in this 100 back stroke? Yeah. First-time world champ for new, new, new blood coming into the the rankings here. Uh, Clem, is in, Clem is in this event. Yeah, but he's never won a world short course, has he? Hundred back. Now, who's the reigning defending champion in this? That's what I want to know. Question. That's a good question. It's, hard to, it's hard to keep up. Um, short course wise. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the last one was in China. Anyone uh, in the comments section know who the defending champion in the hundred backstroke would be? Who won the last one? Our comment section's smart, man. They know this stuff. You know, you yeah. just throw a question. Uh, they... Clem in Han Joe, he won uh, the 100 IM. He got uh, bronze in the 100 backstroke, so it definitely was not him. Might be the Chinese kid. I don't know. Murphy? No, I don't think Murphy was at the last one, was he? No, nah, I was there, actually. Um, Han Joe is where we make our clocks. So I've been there a bunch of times, and it just so happened that the World Aquatics Convention and the championships were on the you know the same time. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we Shane go. Shane Cassis. Yeah, Ryan Murphy. And then Zhu Zha Yu. Uh oh, Murphy did Murphy won it. Yep, sure did. Here we what? go. Shane Cassis walking out. Murphy did win it. There you go. There you go. Murphy. All right, you got you got your money on Shane. Um no, I've got my money on uh, Clem Kalashnikov. He's good. He's legit. He is good, but um, I don't know. I'm 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 going I'm going America, baby. I'm go I'm going hardcore. Shane Cassis. I didn't expect it. you to do otherwise. Yeah, that's look at him. He's tatted up again. Did he get more tats overnight? <laughs> <laughs> He's loaded. Good for him. Look at him. Uh, Clem, Clem, Clem took the. No, he's got the necklace on. I thought he took it off there for a second. Oh, Shane's going with a little gold, gold necklace too. Yeah, it's a thing these days, mate. I know, boys and their necklaces these days. It's the thing. Uh. Cassis looks ripped, bro. He looks like he's in great shape. His waist has got to be a twenty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> Checking the waist. I'm telling you. He he's 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 built to swim. A lot of people had him, you know, way ahead of time before 
he didn't make the Olympic team, but so many people were calling him for the world record. And oh, he got a brilliant man. start. Are you on? Are you in? Uh, I'm, I'm in now. Cast he got a beautiful, got a beautiful start. start. Yes, he did. I kind of like being ten seconds behind you. Oh, he looks a million dollars right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. This is this is all Shane Cassis, boys and girls. This is all Shane Cassis. Oh, this one's going to America unless something drastic happens here. He has not lost the first fifty yet. He's that's how fast he's been out, and he just was out again. Twenty three, twenty nine. That is under world record pace by almost two tenths of a second. Kalishnikov in second. Oh, Cassis from Brazil in third. Cassis, come on, buddy, hit that. Kalishnikov, turn. hit that last turn, boy. Oh he's, wow, he looks a little long into those turns. Actually, mm, mm. he's kicking like me, like trying to get to the wall. Well, you come know on, what he, finish, 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 finish. Get oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. World champion, world champion, God. Shane Cassis. Get on the line, line. Sit up on this, son. Oh, he's no. just calm as a cucumber, no. bro. Forty-nine, twenty-three, guys. Yeah, not the world's fastest time this year, but uh, enough to win a world championship. There you go. Yeah. That's what you call winning. He he needed that, you know, after that rough. That rough six months he went through, you know, he got in trouble. Then he was trying to go to Texas and he couldn't go to Texas. And now he's back at Texas A&M. Um, but clearly his training is on point. He's swimming great. That was, and actually he could have put together a better race, I think. But he was out. He wanted it. He looks calm too, doesn't he? Yeah, very calm. He didn't get on the lane line. I kind of like that too, you know, like. Does he look a little bit like Tiger Woods, or is that just me? That's just you. A little Tiger Woods, right? Yeah, with maybe, maybe. Tiger maybe. Woods with long hair? Yeah, a little bit. You know? He could, like, be his son. He's got the talent. He's got the talent of Tiger Woods. Look at him. Yeah, it's ridiculous talent. Yeah, he's jacked. That's going to be good for the American Relays. I kind of want to hear him here. He looks happy. He looks healthy. Good for him. Winner. Boom. Well, champ. Hopefully he doesn't spend all his cash on the uh, on more tats. He's, he's tatted up. Redemption from this summer, people. That's what he just said. Redemption. Mm. Redemption. He, he just said the only thing that was going through his mind was redemption the entire time. He wanted people to know that he's still around. He's still someone to be messed with. That's literally what he just said. He did. And I like it when I like it when you score a touchdown and you and you don't go ape, you know. You, you just hey, you've been in the end zone before. You know what it's like. You know what I'm saying? And that's what he just did. He just won. Yeah, by not not by a lot. I mean, he he dominated the race from start to finish, you know. And now he's now he's back. He's going to be unstoppable the rest of the meet. What else is he swimming? <laughs> unstoppable, hey. I'm telling you, once you Some get a little beat. confidence in you, it's hard to stop him. All right, Shane Cass is forty nine two three. Clement forty nine four six, and Robert Clinta from Romania getting that third place forty nine six zero. Let's pull up. Let's pull these up for you people. Yeah, I think he was just a little long into those walls. You know, he was. Um... Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. We both stuck comments up at the same time. That's for the summer, huh? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if a world short course championship really makes up for a lost Olympic Too birth, shade, but... but, you know. He's a uh, great swim. It um, it certainly is a, the 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 stepping stone. It helps, yeah. It helps. Hey, every, the entire heat is sub fifty, so that was cool. Be right back. I just gotta check on my baby. What did Guido get? Where is oh Guido got six? Okay, interesting. Wow. All right. Checking on babies during yeah. the live feed? Uh, well, yeah, my Carly went and took the first one to school. 
You don't have like a little monitor? I mean, it's in the bedroom, but she's just on the couch. My, my oh. wife's home now. Carly's back. All right. All right. What do we got next? What is this? Coach Andre with the facts. Murphy won in 2018 with the exact same time. Wow. Fun fact. That, is, that Andre. is a fact. There you go. Coach Andre's got a podcast. Num well, I think it's the number one German swimming podcast. What's it called? What's it called, Andre? It's in German. They speak German during the podcast. Yep. Okay. That's why I can't listen. I don't know German. I think it's um it's it's called Swimcast. Coach Andre from Hamburg, Germany. All I know is this is German for three. Or is it the which one was it? Glorious Bastards, remember? Oh, yeah. Swimcast. That's what it's called. Swimcast. Swimcast. Okay. Beautiful. And yeah, I mean, we, you, I mean, you can't watch swimming and pull up your phone at the same time. That's what most people do. All right, here we go. We got Olympic champion here, Zhang Yufei from China, swimming the 200 fly. All right. Charlotte Hook, the teenager from North Carolina, is uh, in lane one from America at the top of your screen. Uh, this is, um, there's a lot of Kovas and Rovas, a lot of uh, Russians. and. How did Charlotte Hook qualify for this team? Did she finish third at trials or something? Uh, maybe. And then it's all about who opts out, right? And then you go down the list. So, Yeah, that's what I was trying to get at. Like, what did she finish at the... Olympic trials. She wasn't on the Olympic team, was she? No. No. All right. All right. Well, uh, Zhang Yufei was like, hey, guys, this, after this first 50, I'm out of here. So see you. This yeah. is going to be a mert. Yeah, yeah. She is shredding this thing. This no, is a uh, mert. Yeah. Gone. Yeah, Charlotte Hook. Did get third. She went 2079 behind Hallie Flickinger and Regan Smith. Right. Okay. No Flickinger here. That's a you shame. Flickinger. Flickinger. She would have done well here. Right, coming off that ISL and Yeah, that would have been would have been another person that could swim so many events. Um and you could just make money, you know. That's what I mean. Money. Do these do these top athletes not need money? Like when I was an athlete, I needed every cent I could get. Like Hey, take me to the world champs. You can win 15 grand. Okay. Easy. Boom. Yeah. I think um, there's certainly a few people that are at this meet that are thinking that like, Hey, I'm not at the top of my form. Hey, I might've just been injured. Hey, I might've been sick, but I'm swimming all these events anyways, because I'm going to make it back and I'm going to get paid. Zhang Yu Fei is just, I mean, it's not even a race. She's two body lengths in front of the entire field. Two yeah. full body lengths. She's just crushing it. Charlotte Hook, though, is going to get a medal here, people. The Who's in one? Screen, that's, that's Charlotte? Yep, that's her. She she got the silver, man. That's the boom. Silver. Good for her. Oh, great swim. You said she's Outside. from North Carolina? Yeah, I think so. Wow. High school girl still? Yeah. Where's she going to college? Didn't she swim for the TAC Titans? I could be completely wrong. No, yeah, she swims for TAC. <clears throat> the TAC Titans are down in, um, at the Triangle Aquatic Center in Cary, North Carolina. I wonder where she's going to college. She's good. Um, I think she... Uh, I, uh, for some reason, I feel like she's going to um, Stanford. Yep. U.S. national team member Charlotte Hook verbally commits to Stanford for 2022. Yeah, not too shabby. 152 seven yard 200 fly. I think I went one. Stanford. She's going to Stanford. <laughs> went 152.5. So Stanford just cleans up, don't they? Yeah, Stanford's easy to uh, recruit to. Um, I assume you've been there a few times. Been there a couple of times. Is but, there um, a better pool? No, there isn't. <clears throat> outdoor I mean, is pool? There, yeah. Is there a better? Who's got a better facility than that? Well, right? it's just it's just outdoors, you know. It's 
It's ridiculous. They got two 10 lane back to back 50 meter pools that are back to back. Plus that. I don't know exactly how long the actual, the one where they're in the bowl, there's another, that's like the competition pool. It's also the water polo competition pool. Then you have an entire another diving <laughs> well with a giant high dive. That's completely separate. They got the lawn. Is that what they call it? What do they call it? I think it's uh, just the lawn. I watched, uh, um, I was there for uh, Athena World Juniors meet. You know, and I just sat on the green grass, man, in the sun. Are you are you recruiting for Stanford right now? Is that what's happening? Uh, you want me, should I go, should I go get my Stanford shirt? <laughs> it's, it's. I mean, easy. they don't need your help. All right, they, they don't they need don't. your help. They, they certainly don't. Uh, it's a great place to go to school. Great coaches. Why not, Greg Mann? Big fan of Greg Mann. Yeah. Like his work. Like yeah. his work. A lot of time for him. So he's cleaning house. That's good. And and he's getting another one. Boom. Okay. Just keep racking up flyers. How many flyers has he got out there? He's got all the flyers. Tory Husk. He's got them all. Yeah. Claire Curzon. Regan Smith. Regan Smith. I mean, he's got them all. Come on, Greg. Don't be so selfish. <laughs> Share some flyers. Jeez. They could easily right. go one, two, three, two in this flyer. All right. Let's... um. I didn't pull up the splits, but here you go. Splits. Nice. What have we got here? Who got third? Oh, the girl from Bosnia, Lana Pudar. Bosnia? Yeah, really? Bosnia and Herzegovina. <laughs> it's tough, man. Such an American. So, so American. <laughs> Hooked on phonics. Some good splits. What's she splitting here? She's going 31, 31, back in 32. But Charlotte Hook coming back in 30. 30, it, she's holding 31s. She just went out too slow. Well, she went out too slow. 31-7, 31-6, 31-6. That's what you want to see. I mean, you don't want to see a, You don't want to see a Trent and Julian 31, 31, 38. I know. She just went out too slow, though. Get her out in 20. Get her out in 27, and it's game over. You know, they, are, are we watching the, the women's medley relay again? What's going on? I think it's, well, it's a replay of the world record. Yeah, they're they're all excited. So. Oh, they should be. It's a world record. Hmm. Now, what are you going to do when I have to jump off here in about 10 minutes or so? You're going to just do it, do your solo. I'll have to bring somebody in. SB, you want in? Yeah, bring someone in. Come on. Morning, Anyone in afternoon. the comments section? Yeah, he's always in the comments section. Bring in Coach Andre. Oh, yeah. Coach Andre, you want in? Yeah, I have I'm a get feeling that the athletes competing in the ISL seem to be tired. Laclo, Scott, Guido, Kalishnikov. I believe... I believe you're hundred percent right. I actually thought like going into this, I was like, Oh, I think everyone thought these guys have been racing. They just raced. They were all swimming fast. And uh, when you listen to Duncan Scott last night after the, after his race, he's just like, man, I'm, I'm like, I'm really tired. I've been traveling for months. I've been away from home for months. I've mm. been competing for months. And uh, yeah, I just think they're, I think the gas is uh, low in a lot of these tanks. Yeah, that's true. I think that's what we're learning. That there's a lot. I mean, the Olympic year is so emotionally um, charged too. You know, like you got to put so much emotionally into the Olympics. So, yeah, I mean, I, I could see it. You know, I could see it. It's just emotionally. It's emotionally charged. You know. <laughs> oh, look at that! Not bad for a podcaster, hey? No. Huh? <laughs> Not bad for a podcaster. Not bad for a podcaster. Look yeah, at that little podcaster, hey? Eh? <laughs> a couple of those are just... Uh... That's a, if anyone gets that inside joke, let me know. That's a good one. Not bad for a podcaster. Greg Peters knows what he's talking about. You're right, Siobhan, whatever she's doing, she's, uh, she's getting a rest. I saw her eating some chocolate or something from... 
Sonny, did you see that? He put something up. I haven't watched it yet. Sonny's getting it, giving out chocolates. He's giving out chocolates. Where is Sonny? He's disappeared off the face of the earth. Yeah, I mean he's uh he's somewhere in, in there in Dubai. Uh, Eric, man, Eric's giving out gold medals for podcasts. I believe it, man. I believe it. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Did you get any uh, any takers on someone joining? Can we? Let's um, see. <laughs> he picked it up. Look at this. That there we go. Nice work. Nice work. You found the inside joke there. I like that. How do I? How do? How do we pull somebody in? You got to actually like DM them. I think. Yeah, they have to DM you or uh, put a put in your uh, put in their email address. Text. Yeah, listen, guys, I got to run here in uh, five minutes. We need someone to come and join. Come on, who's coming in? I'm, I'm, who's coming? Who's coming with me? I'm I'm in my DMs here. Where is he? All right, Andre, just sent you a link to your Twitter DM. SB, oh, where are you at? SB, oh, he doesn't want SB? Any, He doesn't want any part of it. He, man. he doesn't He's want it. He doesn't want it. Staying quiet. A lot of people are scared to put their faces on a on a video. Little Shane Cassis interview here. Hey, barefoot. Okay. I like it. <clears throat> oh, we're on a little break, I guess. Oh, what are they handing out medals or something? We're on a little break. Little break in the action. There's a. Oh, you went silent on us. You're talking to someone, are you? Sorry, huh? I muted my podcast. <laughs> were you talking? What were you saying? Yeah, I was. I was talking. Um, I was just saying we got uh, we got three finals coming up after whatever this little break is. We oh, okay. The uh, the men's hunter breaststroke, which is stacked. Uh, stacked. Who do you who do you got in that? Men's hundred breast. Yeah. Nick Fink, Shamanovich. Uh, I'm going with Fink. Arno Kamingo. Kamingo looked good though. I'll tell you what, Kamingo he looked look great. Good. He's gonna he's gonna be coming home fast, dude, real fast. They were way off their uh, ISL times yesterday, so I'm hoping that they they've got more in the tank. I mean, they were. I mean, a full second. We're talking like, come on. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what was going on yesterday, but maybe they were holding back. So if if they are, Fink Fink's the man. I I do not think. Shamanovic will win. I just don't. Oh, here's um Shane's uh Shane's just swimming the fifty back on the tuner back. So um yeah, dude, I think he he might be able to clean up. He might he might be able to do the trifecta here. Oh snap! Oh, look at this. Oh, Hold the fire. <coughs> Guten Tag, man, guys. What is oh, up, you, dude? Might, might the oh, you might you need to you need to mute us in the background. Man, guys, way late. Yeah, turn that sound off there. Uh, he's yeah. he's figuring it out. We're getting there. You get a echo in there, Andre, like a big one. What about that? We back? Okay, I. It's a huge delay. Oh, I think it's better. You there? Can you hear us? SB. Uh, Brett's got a phone call. I got a phone call with Brazil. I got to do work. Yeah, I think Nick Fink's going to take this. Um, uh, well, actually, you know, it's just going to be it's going to be a good race. I think it's going to be between Shimanovich, Kaminga, and Nick Fink. Um, I think those are going to be the three on the podium. Which three we'll see, but uh, Shimanovich does not look like he did a month ago when he was breaking the world record every single time that he jumped into the water. So, um, Kaminga, okay, 
Greg Peters likes the back end speed of uh, the man from the Netherlands. Can't disagree with that. Martin Eggy's in this too from Italy in lane two. Um, he's certainly got the 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 speed. Um, see if he can come home. The young Italian, not too young anymore. He's he's been around. Was excellent as a teenager for Italy. Coach Andre, you still uh, super delayed, or are you good? Mm. I don't know. <clears throat> He's delayed, I think. I don't know what's happening in Germany. It's a, it's a huge delay. I'm just f trying to figure out how it works. But uh, there's a German one in the 100 breaststroke. Mm -hmm. So that's mainly the part why I just hopped on. Oh, yeah, Fabian. Except he swam... Swing, uh, swing and triangle. Yeah. Swing and schlagle. Swing and schlagle. Swing and schlagle. He swam uh, for Western Kentucky. He swam for Bruce Marchanda at Western Kentucky. And then Western Kentucky got, they did some stupid shit with hazing. Kids, stop hazing each other. It's the dumbest thing you could do in college. Do not haze. Stop it. It's ridiculous. Their entire team got cut. <laughs> but uh, I think Bruce Marchanda now is the head coach. I think he's the head coach of Tack Titans with Charlotte Hook. So Bruce might even be here at the swim meet. Um, I'm just gonna look that up, Bruce Marchand. Though, I'm 100. percent Yeah, he's, why he's would the, he be there? He was the 2020 U.S. Club Coach of the Year, Bruce Marchand, from Tac Titans. So, oh, uh, there you go. Tech Titans, okay. He also coached, um, I think, one of the first Olympians that came out of Western Kentucky before Fabian was uh, Claire Donahue, the American butterfly. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He did, but we got off Germany somehow. Well, let's go back to Germany. Fabian won uh, the NCAA title, 100-yard breaststroke. Oh, he, he did? There. And he got also... I, I'm not, I'm not uh, too deep into it. Just had a little chat with him. Um, Who did he swim for? Did He transferred, right? He After... went to Missouri. Oh, that's right. That's right. Swam Missouri. with uh, <clears throat> Mark Gangloff. Yeah. Probably could pick up a couple things from uh, Gangloff there. Where is he training now, coach? He's training now in Neckarsulm. It's in the south of Germany, maybe near Stuttgart. Stuttgart. They have, they have uh, two big, uh, two big uh, swim centers right now. One is in Magdeburg and the other one is in Neckarsulm. Magdeburg, the group of uh, Isabel Gose and Florian Wellbrock. Mm. Oh, yeah, Wellbrock. Uh, Sarah Köhler. Uh, yeah. So these were the only two clubs competing today in the uh, yeah, in the championships. Mm. Did Wellbrock win last night or this morning? Did he win a, uh, a water no, 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 no. He not he, but her Isabel Goza was swimming. Isabel Goza. Goza Mertens. He really disappointed in a two hundred free. But that's mm. yeah, it's a German problem. They all are not not on their peak right now. Why? Why you think? Well, it's difficult, I guess. They don't peak for the short course worlds, except right. Wellbrock, maybe. They all come from a huge training block, and they, I, I think, they focus on the uh, long course, long course highlights next year. <clears throat> Does Germany have a head coach yeah. now? They do. It's a. Uh, they have two on top. It's a uh, Bernd Berkan and Hannes Vitense. So okay. Berkan is uh, responsible for all the uh, sports stuff and uh, Vitenza is for all the organization stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. They What's both the are time? in Abu Dhabi What's right now. last time you guys won a um, gold medal? Or an Olympic At the, medal? The Olympics? Yeah. You guys are due. Aren't you? What? Say again. When's the last time you guys won an Olympic medal? Uh, oh, Wellbrock won the uh, 10K yeah. at yeah, the Olympics, and Sarah Köhler got third as well as Wellbrock in the 1500. Mm -hmm. the right. Famous Bobby Fink on the last 50. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Bobby Fink him, yeah. <laughs> but um, I, I don't know where they are heading. 
I guess they they focus on the long 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 events, fifteen hundred, eight hundred, ten k. Yeah, for sure. So that's what the head coach was saying. Florian looks really good at the ten k at the moment. Okay, but that's just one event. I don't get it. You guys yeah. have you guys have actually a lot of swimming pools in Germany. You guys have a lot of swimmers. It's like a pretty decently sized sport there. Um, to be honest, I'm a little surprised. Like you guys aren't. We don't see like when's the last time we had a German guy in the 50 freestyle. You know? We have a re we have a big big coaching problem over here. So the coaches are not that well um, educated, I guess. I had a talk yesterday with a colleague of mine who who said the same. Really? Do you have money? Do they have money? Uh, not not enough. But who has enough? But they they are well underpaid. Okay. Yeah, well, that's, um, so the eight guys are on the block on my stream right now. <laughs> yeah, where you are. Out fast. I'm getting introduced. Yeah. I'm getting introduced. Nick Fink just walked out. So, so I'm not spoiling anything. Out. Yeah, yeah. Don't spoil it. But hopefully you you get a win for Germany. Come on, swing and swing. I know. I, uh, expecting fourth place. I guess Kaminga will win. Shimanovic second, and then it's Martin Nengi. Oof. What about Nick Fink, baby? Nick ah, Fink? Nick, yeah, yeah, Nick Fink third and Martin Ning fifth. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's. Just, that's his predictions. That's not. That's not what happened. That's a prediction. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's just leave it. Let's yeah, see what he's happens. Saying, he's saying those are his predictions as he's watching the race <laughs> unfold. I'm. I'm on the block right now. So just give us a. We're about a minute behind <laughs> you. I think. He, he's probably just staying. Staying silent. Yeah. Stay silent. I think you're on the uh, the actual like uh, Fina feed. We're on the. Uh, mm. you know, we're on the Pina delay. It's pretty far ahead, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I should pull up my VPN and just pull up the Fina feed. Yeah, maybe. I'm on YouTube TV, and we definitely have a, a delay. Nick Fink, man, he he's looking uh, he's looking fit. I mean, they all do. They all look good. Well, this whole field looks good physically. That they're, they're ready. So you see my poker face. They already <laughs> touched the wall, and uh, yeah. you don't you, you, you can't tell what what happened. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. Thank you. All right. We're on the block and uh, take your marks. Ready? Racing. Here we go. We're racing. You racing? <laughs> no, Nate? no, you know? but I'm on the blocks. It's fine. Nate's, Nate's even let behind it, me. Yeah, let it go. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> All right. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Pretty even to the first wall. Not too bad. Everybody's just one dolphin kicking. That's good. Okay. No, no, no kicking in the wall. Oh my no. gosh! I'm waiting. For, I'm waiting for another breaststroker just to be DQ'd, and then no one show us the the actual DQ or explain why the hell they got DQ'd. Oh. Yeah, we're we're delayed. I don't know what's happening, but yeah, we're we're out. Nick uh, Nick Fink looks like he's uh, in the Shemanovich lead. Shemanovich is out first, twenty five eighty five. Yeah, but he he doesn't close well, Shemanovich. Well, he's got to be out that fast though. That no, was he does not. He just doesn't look right. He doesn't look right. I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. Okay. All Come right. On, baby. Okay. I see what's happening here. Come on, Fink. Come on, Fink. Okay. Oh, dude. Wow. So close. Shamanovic. Yeah. Shemanovic. Held on for Belarus with the championship record. Good for him, man. He, uh, he, yeah. he just he finally uh, took Nick yeah. Fink down after Nick Fink kicked him in the mouth three times last last, yeah. uh, last week at the ISL. Good for him, world record holder. Um, getting the W here. Yeah. Let's pull up. Let's pull up uh, the split. Uh, he needed that for him. He did. He needed that. Yeah, fifty-five seven zero. By the way, uh, not slow. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's moving. Uh, that's which moving. means the first closed. three under fifty-six. That's pretty. Fa that's pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah, so just give me a second. Pull these splits up here. What do we got? Okay, let's check this out. Brett, you were supposed to call somebody like eight minutes ago, bro. Uh, I haven't I haven't received the text yet, so I'm still good. They're, they're going to text me. Uh, Schwing and Schwangel, fifth. fifth. 56, yeah. 56 two is not a bad swing, it's, though. Yeah, it's pretty fast. 1300 of his uh, German record. Yeah, okay. Set during the World Cup. Nick Fink there. Uh, Martin Engi. Okay. All right. Well, Monty Nengi is a surprise, I guess. Um, yeah. Didn't didn't saw him. 
Yeah, Good he, I mean, he's the world junior record holder. He was the fastest kid ever in the history of the world. 2017, there it is, 57. Right. Mm -hmm. That was a long time ago. I got to tell you, I think I think uh, Shamanovich needed that win, man, for him for his own sake. You know, I think he for needed sure. That. He, he needed that. He couldn't he couldn't get beat again. That Probably was just... all smiles right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to this. He's At least dude. he proved he can be on point. Yeah, he he won the big one. He needed he just, needed that just win. Just had some doubts after the ISL final. For sure, for sure. He's a big dude. The only thing that would have made that better is if you got. You know the big Turkish guy who's built like this guy. Mm -hmm. You know he's he got Sakshi. right. Yeah, it's, he got DQ'd. I really wanted to see him. He he had he had been coming back uh, into form. I think he had done a couple twenty fives in the fifty breast short course already. Uh, Sakshi is more of a fifty guy, right? Yeah, I mean he's just a uh, he's he's so big. He's, he's just massive. power. These guys are so big and so powerful for the most part in the short course. I wonder if um what does Shimanovich go uh long course? Fifty nine. Is that it? Was no, that the I, Olympic final? I don't think he's fifty eight. I don't think he's a fifty eight guy yet. I don't think All right, I'm you, pulling it up. Here we go. Did you guys see the picture of um of uh what's his name's kick? And Michael Andrews kick. Did you guys see this picture? Did this you picture? sent it to me? Look at that! Look at that picture. Well, oh, yeah. let me let me let me full screen you. Look at oh, that! Oh yeah, that's insane. Yeah. Somebody that's was it. saying in the audience, they he needs to he needs to tone it down. He that's the exact down. opposite of uh, Shimanovich. They're exact, opposites. Op yeah, exactly. I, I don't yeah. I don't like it that his elbows come so far back. On you know he gets stuck. He needs to get his arms out in front. It's wild, huh? What do I know? Hmm um yeah guys i gotta jump off so i appreciate it it's been it's been good i gotta i gotta go to a meeting you know all right we'll be we'll 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 be waiting for you brett i'm leaving my own show andre how's that <laughs> right, you'll be back. don't put the pressure on me right now yeah i'll leave it to the the german and the american to figure it out i'm out and See you, brett. enjoy your day he'll be back <clears throat> all right let's put did i did i already i already pulled up them splits didn't i Ah, here we go. Oh, no, that's 100 breaststroke. I'm just yeah. looking what Shemanovich did in the Olympics. Yeah, what did he do? Hard to find out. Yeah, it's not on Wikipedia. PD1, Kaminga second, Montenegro third. I think you got to go to swimrankings.net. Uh, at the olympics.com home. Yeah, there we go. Let's pull up, pull he got up eighth, eighth he place. Got eight. Uh, Come his, on, give me give me yeah, a time his, here. His best fifty, uh, his best hundred breast long course. <laughs> uh, Brett was way wrong, dude. He's he's fifty eight two. Ooh, he did that in March of twenty nineteen at um some Mediterranean French meet. Looks like, but uh, fifty eight two is fast. Uh, he's been two ten yeah. long course two hundred, and his fifty breaststroke. Long course is twenty six forty six. That's got to be sniffing the world record there. PD go under. Yeah. He has he been under twenty six? No. PD. Yeah. I'm still yeah. trying to figure out what time Shimanovich went in the Olymp. It's not written in his Wikipedia. Oh come on. Mm. <laughs> He's having a Wikipedia article without any times from the Olympics. I'm just looking at best times um, from swim rankings, and he didn't he didn't go any best times at the Olympics, so that'll tell you something. All right, what's up next? Um, it's a victory ceremony, hundred backstroke. Well, we got the women's fifty breaststroke final coming up without the world record holder. Without the, um, I think this is the one that m made me the most upset. Was oh yeah. You 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 you're gonna disqualify all these people. Great. Okay, I get it. I, I'm I'm not I'm not blind to the fact that breaststrokes been used as there's been a lot of cheating going on for a long long mm -hmm. time since Kitajima, right? I mean that's yeah. how long yeah. this thing goes back, and they haven't done anything about it. They 
And all of a sudden now they're just going to first day of world short courses, 2021, they're just going to DQ every single freaking person. And then they're not going to show anybody anything. They're not going to show you the underwater footage. They're not going to tell you why they got disqualified. The world record holder and reigning Olymp uh, world champion, Alia Atkinson just gets deked and no one knows why. That's yeah. how I feel. And I just this, feel like it's silly. I don't, I don't know if it's a lane four problem, which was suggested by any of the users, I guess. Uh, was it? Is it right that this was uh, Atkinson's last race? She's retiring after the short course worlds. That's oh, what I no. get. Is she? is she swimming the hundred breast? I hope so. I got the feeling that this was her last race she was ever entered. Oh, I hope you're wrong. It made me sad. Yeah, that that is it's sad. A, that's really true. I. I could, I hope not. I, I've I've loved watching her swim. I don't know when the women's hundred breaststroke are. Maybe yeah, someone they don't, have the, the, they don't have the start list out. You got to go find the heat yeah. sheet. Actually, oh, I'll have it here on my. my hey, thanks, Martinez. Just, PD twenty five ninety five and twenty seven. Oh, did you, did you did you see what PD wrote concerning all the DQs? Yeah, and, and he's, I mean, I get it, you know, like he, he was pumped about it. And that's cool, you know, like Mel Marshall came out a long time ago um, mm -hmm. during the ISL, like basically saying like, hey, Shimanovich is doing a butterfly kick. All these other people are doing butterfly kicks. Like my, my mom, my dad taught me never to cheat. And that's the way that what's going on around here. So I, I get it. Like I want to catch the cheaters. I just, I just totally want to agree. When I'm watching the NFL, I'm a huge Packers fan. If if the Packers were to lose on the last play because a touchdown is called back for a penalty and they don't show you the penalty, that's what it feels like. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I t totally agree. It's, it's a terrible communication from Fina. They let so it go Fina on and ISL really get together time. right now. Yeah, now they want to. They all of a sudden want to enforce it. That's totally fine. But when you disqualify 14 people at one meet, there's something there's something wrong. This ain't a summer league meet. This is not a high school meet. This is the highest level of swimming uh, for the most part. Um, so, yeah. And it came out of nowhere. I don't know if all the participants, the athletes got informed or the team members or stuff that they have a, have a view towards the dolphin kicking and breaststroke. So that there's an underwater camera. There was a rule change. Swim Swim just made it publicly that there was a rule change that they can overrule with the underwater cameras and so on since yeah. last year. So it might have been used in the Olympics. I was um I was tweeting back and forth with uh Dr. Phil, Dr. Swim Phil from mm -hmm. the University of Tampa, and he said basically there's cameras everywhere. There's cameras on there's an entire grid. So it's not just a camera in lane four. Everyone thought there was just a camera in lane four, and that's why all the disqualifications were coming from lane four. But that's not really the case. It just so happened that everyone was in lane four. I think it was coincidental more than anything else. But yeah. um, only the fast ones cheat. It's just, yeah, it is. I don't know. And I also heard that Alia Atkinson got disqualified on her last stroke so it wasn't into a turn or off of a turn it was into yeah. the finish and her they were saying her feet came out of the water that, uh, 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 i, I mean, thought I she was she was doing a downward kick but come on that's uh, where, where do film. you start the, the kick film, where then. do you end the kick though so just show me the film then yeah um you know like uh she touched the wall before her feet came up out of the water mm -hmm. The race is over. How can you get disqualified for something that happened after you've touched? Exactly. Well, it's kind of nice. Um, these, it seems like uh, these award ceremonies are so long that they're basically replaying the previous swims, you know, which is kind of nice. You know, it's not not too shabby. The Fina stream just shows the ceremony. Yeah, I'm sure we're like uh, we're getting mostly American, you know, propaganda. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, rowdy's yeah, your words, there. your words, not mine. So yeah, no, it's the fine. Eyes no, to you. It's totally cool with me. Um, yeah, people around here get upset at rowdy sometimes, and I always go to defend him on the internet machine because it's like, guys, he's 
talking to Americans. Of course, he's going to focus on the Americans. What are we talking about? You know, you you. It's impossible to know all the international swimmers very also well very to true. have That's all true. their bios ready. It's one of the problems with the sport, right? It's like a it's like a blessing and a curse. We have all these unbelievable athletes across all these different events. The problem is because we have so many events in swimming, there's four strokes and multiple distances, yep. and then you get so many people, you know, and you got to try to know them all. Um, I'm sure that Rowdy does a hellacious amount of mm -hmm. studying and learning from other people. I know he's mentioned things to us like, hey, we're we're learning. He watches the live show every week because he likes to learn is what he told us. Okay. So we're very uh, thankful, um, obviously. But, um, yeah, I mean, how can you keep up with all of it, you know? It take, takes a lot of time. Hey, here's a comment. I, I uh, think this is this is yeah what you said. It's a curse because you have to promote so many stars exactly. and faces to to all the different strokes. I think that's what um that's one thing that they've always done poorly is market the swimmers. I mean, they only swimming markets the Phelps, the Ledeckis, the Dressels. That's it's like one singular person in swimming. Like if you're not winning every single event, it's it's like whatever. That's what I, the film I, Oh, he's back again. I had several talks to the federations and um, to to uh, just just I, I they don't promote their swimmers exactly. So I have a lot of talks with the German Federation right now to get some some audio, some some voices uh, where they talk about their competition and stuff. So I can put it on air next week. And it's so hard to get some some sentences out of them. So they sent me over some stuff. They don't do it. They don't do it very good. Yeah, uh, I think that's uh, as a whole swimming needs to get better. This part of the swimmers union. That's what they need to be doing, right? They need to collectively come and tell each other like, hey, we got a band together here. Like we have a giant collective voice on the Internet. If you added up all the Instagram followers of all these swimmers. They we've got to just do better as a sport altogether. The coaches, the swimmers, the, the staff members, the federations, everyone's got to do better to market swimming. That is a fact. Andre, looks like yeah, this is your podcast from now on. Yeah, I have a new new fan, at least one. <laughs> oh, <that's... laughs> thank you. Um, they're showing um, Alia Atkinson's finish. Oh, hang on a sec. I, I got I gotta run. See you guys. That's that's <laughs> only your, that's only your feed. I don't see it. Can we talk about Benedetta Pilato? Yes, of course. I I don't get it. Maybe she was too young and too much hyped, but she really, really failed this year, I would say. Well, she's so, especially in the ISL. So I remember. Swimmer, right? More so than anything else. Like when she was young, she was crushing the 50 more than the 100, definitely not the 200. And I feel like it's always been the same. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, I think when you're that fast at 14, there's a lot that can happen for the next three years, you know. I already know the results of the 50 breaststroke final. Already? Mm-hmm. And I, and I already regret my words I said a couple of seconds ago. Okay, good, because Pilata's just... <laughs> don't don't spoil right too much, but... <laughs> 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 no, I was thinking the same thing uh, with uh, Summer McIntosh. With all the teenage, teenage girls, yeah. which go through puberty... Next year's maybe maybe their bodies change and yeah then for they sure. fade 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 away so it's it's t it, it is um it's tough um for for women their bodies change uh yep. a lot um and we've had several swimmers on the podcast explain like how it took a couple years to like figure out their new body and how to swim with their new body um so yeah for sure. All right, women's fifty breaststroke here coming up. We're uh, we're about to dive in. I guess we've already dove in, but it's a wide open field with Atkinson missing. Yeah, we are so far behind in America. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm looking at the results already. I mean, the results are on Omega Timing. So. <laughs> yeah, it's on Omega Timing. You see the results. Yeah. I need. My, I I do need to pull my VPN up. Maybe I'll pull it up on this other laptop and 
fly into Fina real quick. Yeah, but uh, what I was wanted to say about Pilato is that uh, James Gibbs mentioned at the beginning of the ISL season that they were disappointed with uh, some of their swimmers. And I think he meant Pilato with this. Oh, is that right? Yeah, she was what? far behind from her time she went in 2020. And she only joined the team in the ISL final. So no playoffs for her, which I was, I find kind of surprising. Could have also been a school problem like uh, Summer McIntosh had. Gorbanko from lane seven. <laughs> Snakes out the win for Israel. Israel's got a world champion, baby. Oh, what a swim. Thank Good you. for her. We just had her on on the pod a couple weeks ago. If you didn't listen to her, she was excellent. I yeah. did. I did. Yeah, it's, I, I love hearing from all these different people from all over the world and how they got into swimming and what they're doing. And she had a great start, yeah. a great start right there. Let me pull She's up in this. LA with David Marsh, right? Or um, mix it up? No, I think uh, Marsh definitely like works with her a lot. Has worked with her for a long time actually, because he's been working with the Israelis national team for a long time. Um, hmm. That being said, like obviously she's been in the ISL. She's not. She doesn't. Sw well, actually, yeah, she does swim for LA Current. So yeah, she's been with Marsh a lot. Pilato second, Sophie Hansen third, Mona McSherry fourth, uh, and the two Finnish girls sixth and seventh. Yeah, but uh, pretty open. Twenty five, twenty nine five to yeah, nine hundredths of second. Yeah, I think I think Atkinson would have uh, she would have won that easily. Yeah. yeah. She would have been 29 I think so too. Definitely. closer to zero. But hey, that's uh that's the way the cookie crumbles. Uh they were showing her her finish over here in America and it just talk me through it. It didn't look good. It looked like it was a disqualification. <laughs> but that's all I want. I just want to see it. You know, I want someone to just show it's, it. Slow it's it just down. fair. If it, Give me a circle. Yeah. You know? So um, d d DQ if there is a reason for DQ. So no, don't be afraid of big names. Exactly. All right, let's go to the comments section. Here we go. Mar Marina. Hey, Andre, I used to coach somebody. Hi, Marina. Coach Andre, you're doing a great job holding down the fort. You're a natural SB. Thank you. He's always in the comments. Oh, man. I'm just getting a little bit color little red yeah you need to get one of these uh, little light rings so that people yeah. can see your face yeah uh, it could be more professional right tim chang is gorbanko a breaststroker or a backstroker um she's an every stroker she's got to be a favorite uh you know in the top three or four for the 100 im um yes. she can put all the strokes together obviously now she's a world champion breaststroker so uh she's got a, a great future ahead Oh, and here you go. Yep. Yep. Pretty. I think pretty. she's in the hundred. I am coming up uh, later this week, which should be. Um, it's it's always a fun event. Uh, the American record holder will not be in it. Beta Nelson's not here. Lily King's not here. Kelsey Dolly is not here. All of our, a lot of Americans are not in this race. All right, here we go. Up next, we have the men's two hundred freestyle. freestyle. I'm still I'm 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 online for the 200 free final, and then I have to quit sadly. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> We're having guests over here today, and I'm. Uh, it's my part to clean the house and uh, to cook <laughs> something. <laughs> cool, good, good. Well, well, um, this is the last final final, I think. Uh, no, they're women's hunter backstroke finals coming up. How sad were you that you just skipped the uh, relay finals yesterday? Oh, with the double well, victory of Canada and USA it was so exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, once you're on here for like two hours, people do have things to do sometimes. Um, and it's just yeah. the relays are just not, 
they they're still exciting. Don't get me wrong. I I sat here and watched them and I tweeted out the results and everything else. But you know, when you got to find out who's actually swimming on the thing and you don't even know the names, it's it's what's happening when you have such a small roster. You mm-hmm. know, and like we said on the no Japanese swim teams, no Australian swim teams. It's uh, just is what it is. Popovici. Uh, Popovich did yep. not make the final. He did not. No, he went 143. Unfortunately, um, certainly he a long swimmer. He didn't change his, uh, his coach, just a club. Correct. Yep. I guess it's always, um, it's, it's, it's been said wrongly for a lot of times. Well, let's see. Uh, Popovich is just, he's just swim, swimming through the short course. Yeah, it could be. Um, he didn't swim ISL. He hasn't really been. Did he swim in the uh, World Cup? Yeah, probably one or two competitions. Yeah, I think I but don't even remember him swimming. World yeah, Cup was dominated by Sates and 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 Chalmers. Yeah, I think he so went. Was... I I thought he went one forty one, or one forty two, like a couple weeks ago. Let me pull him up. Our boy, just uh, our boy, Chlorine Daddy, who signed with. He just signed with Arena. Arena, of course. You know, when you're European and your last name is Pop Off, you got to sign with Arena, yeah. right? <laughs> Where is he? He was on the Breakers roster for the ISL, but would have only been starting when they made it through the regular season yeah, in the playoff phase. Yeah, but yeah, it was highly there. unlikely. Yeah, he swam in in the Kazan. He went one forty two one. That was his best time in Kazan. Uh, th- that was um that was Europeans. That was R- European mm-hmm. short course. He uh, won this one, I guess, it was his first senior international gold. He 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 did swim in the Kazan World Cup as well. He didn't swim the hundred freestyle. Uh, he's not in, entered in the hundred freestyle here at this meet, but he went forty six seven last. Couple months ago in October, mm-hmm. but um, he's swimming the 400, so he's got a his best time's 348. Um, that's just from a couple months ago, so we'll see what Popovich has got for the rest of the meet. But uh, he's not in this one. Uh, Antonio Djakovic, the Swiss guy who won, what did he uh, did he win the um, he was th- second or third yesterday in the, in the 400? Alberg yeah. won the Austrian, yeah. Felix. Uh, Duncan Scott's in here. Uh, obviously, last night got creamed in the 2 IM. Uh, in the interview, he just said he's just been swimming so much, he's just pretty tired and doesn't feel good. Uh, but he's going to give it his best shot. And obviously, 142.5. Um, we'll see what, what happens there. But I'm not I'm not putting any eggs in that basket. I think Sun Wu Wang is the guy to beat. Uh, he's bringing it home better than anybody his last 50 was the fastest out of anybody but uh, it's going to be a tight field it's all 142s it's, and 142 ain't going to win what do you think does it need to win um i think you got to go 141 1 141 2 yeah. to win this one uh the the russian Didn't dean just scratched this morning did he scratch this yeah, he's not. Um, and Tom Shields was through the through the prelims, barely by the skin of his teeth. Sixteenth, I think, in the hundred fly. Yeah, a lot of these ISL yeah. guys, they they are definitely looking sleepy. We'll see. You know, at, at first I thought, man, it's just it's not that hard to make the finals for some of these guys, <laughs> but um, yes. clearly it it is. Um, do we think Matt Sates would have won this race, especially with Duncan still ill and Tom Dean dropping out? I think so. Yep. Uh, he he would definitely be in the mix. Um, I think one thing that this ISL has shown us more than anything um, is you just don't know when these guys are going to swim fast, right? Kyle Chalmers didn't do any special resting and shaving and tapering for that world record in the hunter freestyle a month ago you know it's not uh but 
as he said, he was learning race by race. Yeah. How to approach his turns. And I think his what brain. I just, just just learned there is that he is the first one to get into the turn, into the tumble. So all the others are a little bit closer towards the wall, and he's just far away. Hmm. Don't know if this makes a difference or is this something oh, he's been working on. He definitely talked a lot about his breathing, right? And breathing every two strokes throughout the 100, that's what he did. That's the change he made. That's the big change he made from swim to swim. Him and Peter Bishop, they made the decision, hey, let's just, he's got a good rhythm. Let's stick with sucking in the oxygen every two strokes and boom, he mm -hmm. bro breaks the world record. But my point is, you just don't know, like, that's what's great about swimming. Sometimes uh, people swim fast, like out of the blue, because they swim fast out of the blue. You know, it's like Coleman Stewart yeah. breaking the world record. He had, you know, barely just been training for a couple of weeks. Boom, world record, right? Then for the rest of the season, he didn't didn't get close to it. it. No. So, um, yeah, I mean, swimming's a funny thing. So, what do you would would Matt say? It's would have won. I don't know, but he's. <laughs> He's a hell of a swimmer. He and no one would have been no in the mix back like that guy <laughs> lately. All so right, first so he, first fifty are done. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm behind the block, so still not still not saying anything about the race. Good. I watched the Drew Kibler podcast and I was talking to my coach this morning about his 200 free start. Do you think Drew practices going out max speed during practice because 42.5 is almost max? Um. No, I don't think so. I don't think, uh, I mean, you listen to it. He tells you exactly what he's, how he breaks down that 200 freestyle. And that first 50, he is definitely trying to go out hard, but he's trying to go out as easy as he can um, before he starts putting that kick in. And then that third 50, I think, is when he, he launches himself. And then he, con he continued to talk about building, building, building. He's building into this final 50. You know, he's not just going all out in the last 50. He's building that uh, final 50. Um, like Eddie Reese says, you, n n nobody can just jump in the pool and start going max speed. Every race is a build, no matter if it's a 50 or a 200. And you're building inside of certain races. So, all right, men's 200 free. I'm sure most of you guys already know what's going on, but uh, I'm at the first 50 wall, 23, 55. Fernando mm -hmm. Sheffer, Olympic bronze medalist, taking it out for Brazil in the middle of the pool in lane four. Sun Wu Wang sitting there okay. on his hip. And watching this Korean kid, I just can't help but think about Taiwan Park. You know? Yeah, I, I remember him. Yeah, he was awesome. Watch the, the, Wait for the last smooth, 50. Man, he is smooth. He looks tiny next to these other guys. But he is so smooth. Man. All right, lane two. The Russian Shegola. Go, going out hard. Yeah, he went he's he's out 115 at the 150 here. Let's see if he can hold on. Yeah. Sun Wu Wang. In in at that last turn, here we go. Who wants it? Man. Who's at the bottom of the screen? Rapsis coming from, Rapsis. from the bottom. No, it's gonna be Russia. No, it's Korea. Korea, Russia, Li Lithuania. <laughs> Sun Wu, yeah. Shegolov, and Rapsis. One, two, three. Wow. Point oh three for Sun Wu Wang. It did not look like that, did it? Well, they didn't expect this one. Shigalov was uh, far away at the uh, the 150. He went 25-9 on that Seven third 50, tenth. that Russian guy. I'm going to pull up the splits here for you yeah, it's in the audience. Eight-tenth, eight yeah. There but he's go. really happy with his win. Good oh, to see some emotions there. Oh, I was I was half a second off of what I thought was going to win. Fernando Sheffer uh, struggling to come home. There is out 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 in a beautiful forty nine two, but he's he's he ends up seventh. Uh, What's the same the same like he did in ISL? 
yeah. always out pretty fast and then just fading away. But yeah. there's no bonus bonus points here. Karen Smith, fifth place. Uh, I mean, his splits look good. 25-9, 26-2, 26-2. That's good. Duncan Scott, fourth place. 26-4 on the third. Digging it out there. Perhaps this is back a little bit. Far away after one fifty. SB. Okay, guys. All right, Andre, you're out of here. Nate, I have to leave you alone, but you're rocking it. No problem. I'll I'll hold this thing down. Yeah, I I can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Nice to meet you. It was my pleasure. Maybe we can replicate. Yeah, for sure. Upcoming days. All right. Thank you very much for having me. Hey, good to talk to you. Good to see I'm you. And uh, go Germany. <laughs> yeah, not today, but maybe tomorrow. The yeah. 800 free. All right, there you go. Isabel Goza. See you later. Oh, bye. bye. Have fun. See ya. Sun Wu Wang. 23 7, 25 9, 26 1, 25 7. Coming back. Faster than anyone wraps this 25, seven, eight, barely. Um, you know, I went, I went, I went, I like the guys that finish hard. Um, it's about momentum. It's about getting that hand on the wall and the fastest person usually, um, wins, uh, not the fastest person to get to the wall, the fastest person moving into the wall. So, um, there you go. Um, God knows why. what's happening. Oh! What's going on. I thought I was all by myself. Look who's back, back again. How was it? Good man. Uh, I got myself uh, a, a contract with the uh, Brazilian swimming man. Well, actually, uh, the Brazilian Olympic Committee. Ooh, congratulations! So be working with the Brazilian Olympic Committee. Well, gotcha. it's nice of them to think of you after you helped them win a couple of medals. Yeah, why not? You know. Any words on what happened with Rapsis? He was on his way before the pandemic to do something special in Tokyo. Uh, I have no idea what happened to the guy. Um, we do know he was swimming lights out for, you know, all, what, at the end of 20, fall of 2019, so like, what, two years? He was doing 140s, 141s, short course two frees, 334s, 335. I think he went 333. Oh, really? Yeah, in 2019. And... uh Hadn't sniffed it, but he looked, he looked pretty good coming home right there. 25-7 coming home. That's uh, that's good speed. Good enough for a bronze medal. But yeah. um, uh, what, what? Where's Popovich? He's out, dude. He didn't even make it. He, he didn't make the final? Like he was in the – was he in the semi? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ugh. He's, yeah, he's not, not good short course, is he? He doesn't like his short course. Well, we, when you were gone, we pulled up his times. He just won a best time in the two free short course. He went 142-1. Which, you know, one forty two one would have got fourth. What happened then? Well, how did how come he didn't make it? Um, what well, did he finish? He finished fourteenth place with a one forty two one. Yep. What? He, uh, no, 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 no. With a one forty three six this morning, but he went for one forty two one a couple months ago. Oh right. Oh, he went one forty three six. Okay. Right. Yeah. His splits are 24-5, 26-1, 26-5. Just, just out out a little slow. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 odd. He's not he's not on he's not on peak performance, but he definitely is also a he is a much better long course swimmer than a short course swimmer. That yeah. that we do know is true. Yeah. Road to Paris. You got some Brazilian love out here. Marina. Yeah. Yeah, a little Brazilian. That's a little in, little uh little scoop. I'm going to be working with the Brazilian Olympic Committee uh contractually for the next uh the next 12 months at least, you know, hopefully in the lead up to Paris. I'm going to be working with Brazilian swimming, you know, that's what I want to do. So, I want to help. Look, I've been working with Brazil for 13 Forever. years now 13 years it's like you know come on i'm part of the family so you know this is a this is a cool way to kind of solidify the relationship and 
helping them get to Paris, get on, get on the podium. Uh, there's going to, there's going to be some special projects that we're working on with Brazil. So that's cool, dude. Kind of exciting. You know, it takes me from my, my role as uh, just a podcaster to, uh, you know, <laughs> to a, a swim coach again. Oh, uh, it'll just never get old. <laughs> Not for me. No. All right. Let's pull up the start list here for you folks and the audience. So we can share something other than our pretty faces. Um, here you go. Women's, we got two semifinals here. We got the women's hundred freestyle, two heats of the women's hundred freestyle, two heats of the men's hundred fly, the women's hundred backstroke finale, and a mixed freestyle, two hundred freestyle relay to close it up. Uh, this morning, day two at the FINA World Championships. Uh, short course. Um, we have Sarah Soystrom in the first heat sitting next to Abby Weitzel. Weitzel. Uh, Tori Husk is in this. Charlotte Bonet from France. Um, this girl from the Netherlands, she's been doing some amazing splits. Merit Steenbergen. She's been doing some great splits on the relays. Let's see if she can do it herself. Michelle Coleman in lane two in the second heat. Shabon is here. Uh, Katarina uh, uh, Kat Vasek uh, from Poland, the 50 free specialist. What event is this? It is the women's 100 freestyle. Oh, okay. Great race. Great race. Yeah. Kayla Sanchez uh, sw swam a great swim this morning for Canada. So, um, yeah, there's, there's only 151 in there this morning, huh? Only 151, yep. Okay. Interesting. I didn't realize Kayla Sanchez has the world junior record of 51-4. Holy cow. Dad, gone. That was back in 2018. That was fast. Good swim. Four, Jiminy. Good swim. In terms of junior records, that's that is really hard to beat. Hmm. Gee, it um I feel like um on the women's side in swimming, we typically have uh may, maybe I'm wrong, but I just feel like the strokes typically you you can have like a 14 year old girl just show up 15 year old girl 16 year old girl just show up boom 100 right. breaststroke lydia jacoby olympic champion no one's ever heard of her from alaska right yeah but what about the 50 free and the 100 free it just doesn't happen does it Nah, they're grown they're grown grown people events grown woman grown men you know you can't can't get away with that you, you need grown strength yeah you gotta be strong Got to be strong. 51-4 from Kayla Sanchez. I mean, she's not a big swimmer. She's a little thing. We just had this conversation with Kelsey Dahlia. And Kelsey, uh, the, the podcast is going to come out on um, Monday, I believe. And uh, Kelsey, you would regard her as a very strong woman. And she said the thing that she's done since the Olympics is get stronger. I mean, that's what she's done. And that's why she's now breaking world records, she feels, because she – put emphasis in the gym and she's yeah. figured out how to get stronger so that look it's just speed is all power look at ben proud i mean have a look at that that man they, even even muscle. Um, yeah he's just jack but uh muscle yeah he's massive but even uh sarah sostrom look how strong she is you know so it's just a you got to be a grown woman grown man to race in these events Somebody on the uh, swim coaches idea exchange group on Facebook was like, Hey, I got this kid. He needs to get better at underwaters. What do I do? And um, I was just like, well, here's what the best woman said. Here's Beta Nelson's response to that question. Then I sent him Zane Waddell, like, boom, here's what Zane Waddell said. You know, this mm. is how he got so much better in high school. And you know what his answer was squats, get in the weight room, doing more squats. Oh, and, yeah. and, and getting big and jacked. I think well, Abby White was going to have a good swim here. Uh, she looked good on the relay. Had a great 50 split. Here we go. First semifinal in the water. Sarah Soystrom, Freya Anderson, Abby Weitzel, and uh, Tori Husk from 
Tori Husk has early speed, doesn't she? She goes. Yeah, she's got speed for sure. Um, and that's what she's doing. She's out first right now. Of course, yet another girl from Virginia. I mean, it's what we do around here. Arlington Aquatic Club. Powerhouse. But Sarah, it's old Sarah. She's just too strong, powerful. Yeah, her freestyle's a beautiful thing, man. Oh, I mean, look at that. 51.5. Boom. Okay. Americans, two and three. Yep. Nice. Sarah. 51.5. She's a competitor, man. That girl loves to race. I'll tell you what. You talk about all these athletes being tired. Who's raced more than her? Who's been through more than her physically with her elbow injury and, you know, that mental torture she had to go through with that? And then look at all the racing she's done. She's what? Was she was She just named MVP of the league in uh, in the ISL? Yep. I mean, no one races more than this woman, and no one is more consistent than her. So, and no one's more professional. Even... You know, we talk about professional athletes and – Take a leaf out of her book, man. Sarah Sostrom. I definitely think when you when you're talking about these older swimmers, like especially for someone like her who blasted onto the scene when she was just a young teenage girl. You know, it's like Felipe Lima said in that in in our interview a week ago. He's like, dude, I don't, I don't worry about anybody. <laughs> I don't care about what anyone thinks about me. I mean, I've already I, mm. all those negative thoughts, all that that stuff's gone. And yeah. You can just watch Sarah Swaystrom just watch come up behind the block. She's there's 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 not a worry in her mind right now, you know. She's, she's a pro man, she loves to compete and uh she smiles at the end of races, you know. It's like she loves it. Imagine uh, imagine if we could add her money up of how much money she's won in swimming over her career, maybe even just yearly, you know, like year by year, how much money she's won. She's she's cleaning house. Yeah, what'd she do? Like a quarter of a million bucks this year? Oh, easy, easy, man. Not too Didn't she, she, she would have got, she went to World Cups too, right? Uh, between World Cups and ISLs and then now World Champs and then Olympics as well. This year, she has cashed in. Look at the Dutch, man. They've always got these tall, lanky freestylers. Just breed them out there. That's Steenbergen. Yeah, dude. She crushed it on the relay this morning. I'm telling you. Yeah, the Dutch, man. Let's the boys, like these six foot three women, just lanky. No, not that one. Michelle Coleman's tall, too. Wow. Interesting. This whole field is tall. Marie Waddle. Oh, look at how tall she is. Dang. They, all these women are like 6'2", six 6'3". Six What's happening? Yeah. Michelle Coleman's huge, too. They're massive. I mean, sprinters, baby. You know, you know the game. Yeah. Okay. So this um, Steenbergen chick who's seated like with a 53.9 or hmm. 50. She's in lane one. This morning or last night on the relay split 51.7. That's it's not even close to what she went. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Much faster. There is Kayla Sanchez. Canada coming in, coming in hot. Siobhan Bernadette. Mm-hmm. These sessions go for a while. These are long sessions. Oh, dude, they're ridiculous. Over two hours, two hours and 20 minutes or something. Oh, dude, I got to get to work, man. You know, I got a job, right? Oh, shit. You're telling me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you got a you got a business to run, brother. Yeah, I know. Don't you sell clocks? I sell clocks, uh, virtual scoreboards, uh, these tiny clocks, man. I'll tell you. What's the moving, update on the tiny clock? Moving from, like, dealing with swim coaches and aquatic directors to consumer product is just, like, there's a lot of questions. You know, there's a lot of emails, there's a lot of phone calls, which is fine. Totally fine. I'm, really? I'm not, I'm not complaining. All right. Customer we're in the water service. here. World brand new world record holder, Siobhan Hahi in the middle of the pool, but uh, who's taking it out like a crazy person. That's gotta be Vasek from Poland. Mm, 
up there. Up it's there. gotta be right. It's, it's Ahi. It's uh, Siobhan. Oh, who's in lane six in the pink or the red? Yeah, I think that's Kasik. Yeah. Kasha. No, I'm wrong. Lane six is uh is the French girl uh Wattel. Oh, okay. She looks enormous. She's tall, yeah. Shoof. Siobhan the Siobhan fifty one eight. Okay. Fifty one eight. Kayla Sanchez sticking right there on her on her hip. Good enough for second. Uh, that girl from the Netherlands, Steenbergen, up on the top of your screen, fourth. She's going to make it back, I think. Shaban, 51-8 to win that. She will be seated second behind Sarah Sostrom, who will get to pick the her favorite song to walk out to tonight. Did you That's ever, what they uh, do? Uh, I don't think so, but, you know, it's what they normally do at, like, no. little yeah. meets. Did you uh you guys do that in Australia when you were growing up? You get to pick out the walkout song if you're top seed? Um I I think so. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't, you know, I didn't give a shit. Oh, I just wanted I, I just wanted to walk out and win. Cool deal. I could not care what I walked out to. I just wanted to win. I think there were other people that were concerned with what they walked <laughs> out to, but it wasn't top of my priorities. Steenbergen up top. Show Coleman out. Waddle out. Oh, actually, it's a it's a dead heat. Are we, have we got a swim off here? No swim off, have we? Nah. Oh, oh. I think I think we have a swim off. Uh nah. 5228, 5229. Oh no. Yeah, I think they're no, they're all no. passed through. Yeah. Coleman's Coleman's out. Okay. We got um, two ties inside of the top eight. Okay, and, uh, yeah. Marie, Michelle Coleman's out. Freya Anderson's go gone. Charlotte Benet didn't make it. Hmm. Let me pull these up here. How fast is that Kate Campbell world record, 50.2? That's disgusting. Woo, that is fast. Disgusting. Let's get some results up here. Where are we at? I'm trying Okay, okay. Kasia Wasik, good swim. That's a great swim from her, you know, from someone that was, you know, primarily known as a 50 freestyler, 52-2. Mm. She came back good. Abby Weitzel's in the mix. Merritt Steenbergen made it, 52-2-9. Tori Husk is in. Got to go 52.5 or faster to make it back. Shabon out the fastest there. Good swimming. All right, men's 105. Beefy. Beefy T. Oh, the 100 fly. Is it a semi? Yeah, it's a semi. Uh, is there any more finals tonight? Uh, the um, men's, uh, the women's hunter backstrokes after this. Okay, good. I got to get to work, man. I mean, this is fun. I love hanging out with people. Is there still people watching? By the way, is anyone watching? But um, yeah, there's some people. There's 25 people on here. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I I got to get to work. Right. It's it's a, it's a work day. Yeah, you want to just jump off? I think so, man. Yeah, I think I think we've had enough. I think people have had enough of us. So let's just jump off, huh? Get to work. All right. Well, enjoy the rest of the swim meet. We'll be back tomorrow. Uh, no, we won't. No, we won't. Tomorrow? No. Saturday? No. Saturday morning practice. We'll see you at the swimming pool. Maybe Sunday? Maybe? Yeah, I'm I'm good for Sunday. Sunday we'll jump on. Let's jump on. Let's let's all get together Sunday, you know. We'll have a little have a little uh Sunday morning brunch together. It sounds good. Hey, thank you. Uh, a lot of comments, you know, a lot of the same faces. We love talking to you guys. That's where, why we do it. We're watching swimming. I might as well watch swimming with everyone else. So, yeah. Um, here we go. Let's go, America. Thanks, guys. See ya. Peace.